Today's video, we're gonna focus on all the stuff that happens before a video shoot and what you as the client need to know. I've included a few chapter markers in the description. Feel free to jump to the points you find most interesting. Let's step through each stage of the process and what each party's contribution might be. And here I wanna throw this out. Many of the things I'm gonna mention here should be noted within the working agreement you have with the video production company in order to keep all parties accountable. Your level of involvement in the video production process can and likely will directly affect the price you will pay for video production services. So just know if you're one of those make me something pretty while I go sip a latte sort of leaders, there is certainly a video production company out there for you. Uh, my friend here thinks it's fine the way it is. But that life choice will offload tasks to your video producer, which consumes more of their time, which usually involves more money. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Before a script or a shoot, you're gonna begin with your project goals. What do you want to achieve with this video? Your goals need to be specific and realistic. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. You and you alone as the client must answer this question. A video production company cannot create an effective video that hits the target if there are 10 targets and seven of the 10 are in the totally opposite direction of where we're aiming. Once you've established specific, realistic goals, you and your team can move forward with developing a concept for your video. That process can originate in several different places depending on who you brought in on the project. You have to use your mind and come up with some really great idea like that. If you're comfortable working directly with a video production company that has a proven track record developing great concepts, it could be more cost effective and advantageous to bring the video production company into the discussion early on. And unlike traditional ad agencies, many of the video producers I know don't work on retainers. They'll charge some sort of fee for creative development services, but every company will be different. You wanna make sure you get that information up front when you're talking to them. Show me the money. Show me the money! The primary channel or medium the video will be seen should be an important consideration in the concept. Once the concept for that video is firmly established, we move into the traditional three phases of video production that most television and film schools have taught for decades. Those are pre-production, production, and post-production. And mind you, in the digital era, the lines between these three phases blur considerably. Pre-production typically describes the phase immediately following the establishment of the concept. Sometimes script writing happens during this phase, but typically the pre-production phase is devoted to the planning of the production shoot. I love it when a plan comes together. Your video producer will have assembled a team which will carry out the pre-shoot tasks, such as production design, casting, scheduling, and overall production management. Before the shoot, your video producer will likely want to perform an on-site visit to scout the locations, where and how the crew will bring equipment into the facility, safety and insurance requirements, even when and how long the crew will get a lunch break. Anything to streamline the day and keep the crew working as efficiently as possible. No, a 10 minute sit down and a fun size Snickers bar does not constitute a lunch break. They call it fun size. <laughs> when you're my size, this isn't fun. We're finally to production. This is the phase everybody thinks of as the beginning. Camera and lights and location. But as you just heard, there is a lot more that goes on before the cameras roll. Oftentimes the most noticeable difference between a bad video and a great video comes down to planning and expectations. And a good video producer should navigate you, the client, through that process, making it easier and more manageable for everyone. In the next video, we'll talk about what comes after the shoot, post-production, and yes, distribution of that video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, follow us, or even better, hit that share button, and we'll see you next time.